meetings going on this afternoon. So um, I'd like to thank you all for coming this afternoon um, and especially Immersify. Um, they're going, they're here today to talk about the new um, anatomy app within uh, the anatomy section within the app. Uh, and I'm going to hand over to Max and Chloe. If they're here. Um, um, Maria is going to join us today and just going to help us manage us and he's going to talk about who we are and so actually just So, uh, once again, thank you for joining us. I'm just going to give you a very quick overview um, about like, who we are for those who uh, don't know us yet. So, uh, we are Max for Education as an organization we're really passionate about uh, technology and education. And uh, in general, like our product or our platform, we must find dental, uh, which is the gap between theory and practice. Uh, what we want to do is provide resources for students to practice their skills whenever and wherever they want. So, um, but what, what this allows is that it's a very uh, suited platform for remote learning or blended learning in general. All of our resources um, provide different like experiences and we use uh, different elements like augmented reality, uh, detailed 3D visuals and animations to make that experience unique for everyone who uses our platform. Um, obviously, what it's something that's very important for us is that we have expertly written content, so everything that is within the app is quality assured. Uh, we work with a number of experts uh, depending on like different areas that we cover in the app. And also we collaborate with uh, Oxford University Press to provide the best resources we can um, in the app. And other elements that we employ is gamification and personalization. We want to make this experience unique and obviously provide feedback, for example, for the students right away so they can make the learning experience uh, better for them. And all of this um, includes interactive resources to make this experience engaging as well for them. Um, one. Um, so for you as uh, Queen Mary have and for the students as well, uh, we have two um, big modules available. So the first one is clinical applications. And for this module, you can see the list of topics that we cover. Uh, and for each topic, we have like two big components so lessons that covers like all the academic aspects and then the experience that is more the practical element of it so we cover here things from instruments to uh radiography oral uh, intra and extra oral examination we try to cover everything on clinical applications and what we're gonna cover a little bit more about uh today is our next uh, module that is uh dental anatomy and again for this module uh, we keep the same structure so for each topic we have a, a series of lessons and uh, then a corresponding experience uh, for them to practice everything that they learn in the lessons. So now Max is going to join us and show us around uh, the app. Sure. Um, thanks, Maria. So I just close this. So I've just loaded up exactly what is on my device here. So I just wanted to show you a little bit around the platform and, and just see a little bit about all the things we've done and, and kind of how we use interactivity to support learning. So as Maria was saying, it's really kind of grouped into modules. So we, we've got clinical applications and dental anatomy available. So what we've got here is lots of quick access links to all your favorite experiences. Like Maria said, we work really closely with academics, Oxford University Press and lots of students to really define what are the difficult areas of the subject and how can we improve that and reinforce the, the, the difficult bits with experiences. So I'll, I'll jump into a few of our experiences and lessons and it hopefully give you a little bit of perspective of kind of how we do it and why. So inside a module, we've got a range of different topics. So I'll do a little bit on clinical applications first and then dive into a bit of dental anatomy. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a longer meeting. There's about 40 guided learning hours within here. So um, it, it's up to you then to kind of dive in and try and find all the other experiences. There is a progression system throughout the application. So I've got everything unlocked here. 
but actually when you first load up the application there's a tutorial there's um certain elements will be unlocked it gives you the opportunity to create your own avatar and kind of um apply that to throughout the application so if i jump into i'll open up a few of the topics and you can see we've got instruments where there's a range of different lessons and experiences we've got dental charting we've got basic periodontal exam but let's take for example dental charting and in here, there's three lessons around notation systems, surfaces and symbols, caries and occlusion, and then experience, which is chartistry. So I'll load that one up. And this is really great because it shows our unique augmented reality system and allows you to kind of test yourself on charting, on the concepts around charting, the different surfaces. Um, we, for example, work with students to, to define the notation systems are really tricky uh, to kind of just figure out the differences between them so it lets you kind of choose what you want to see i'll i'll openly go with palmer because that's the only one that i know <laughs> um, so when i click play it'll then revert to my camera so this is our office space that we're presenting from um, and then when i click place model you'll see our phantom head appears in augmented reality and i can increase the height of that to get keep a keep a good posture because you know that's really important so we just sit around a bit you can tap on the cheeks to attract those away. And when I click play, two things will happen. One, it will randomly generate the patient's teeth so that you can play this game a trillion times and it wouldn't be the same patient. And two, it'll give me an instrument to use. So in this example, because it's charting, it, it'll be a mirror. So when I bring the, um, the mirror, some actual phone it's connected to, so if I tilt left and right, the mirror moves with it. But when I bring my device into the, the patient, it acts as a mirror and I can have a good look around. There's actually uh, five things to find. If you have a look in the top uh, top corner, there's a little five there. So this has got um, quite good dental health, this patient. And then once I find something, which let's see what we've got here. Uh, that one away and have a look, a look around here. I, well, once I do find something, I can open up this interactive chart here and I can search for everything from absent teeth to amalgam restorations, crowns, might be some veneers to look for. And once I'm happy with all the things that I found, I can click submit chart and it'll immediately give me that instant feedback. So there's some early caries there that I missed. I put a crown on the tooth. But what's great about this is you can go next chart and it'll immediately randomly generate that patient again. So now there's seven different things to find. Um, just tilt this around, hope I can actually get you an example here. Yeah, I'm cursed by the yeah. random generation, but what it looks like there, if I look on that uh, lower right one, uh, sorry, lower right two and lower right three, it looks like I've got veneer there, followed by a uh, a little bit of maybe established caries. So let's try and try and get that one in. So lower right to Maxwell. Yes. Sorry, I'm so sorry. We we couldn't see because you you were disappearing beyond the edge of your your window uh, as to what you were doing with your um device. Sure. So um, hopefully you can see here. So let me just see if I can place it here. So. Um, and just, just place something in there. So I'll submit the chart. So you can see I got 100 points there just from finding the veneer on that tooth. Yeah, let's see that. that one. So if I click finish, then with all of our experiences, it uploads our score, your score to our global leaderboards. So you can see how you compare against your friends, your colleagues, and just kind of brings out that competitive nature in us all. So it's, it's quite fun to see you know, kind of how, where you place on this leaderboard. But I'll click, uh, I'll click restart, hopefully I can show you here. So uh, let me just replace that model. So what happens then is when I click place, the phantom head appears, and it's actually already got the adjusted height on there. So when I actually, as you can see, there's, there's nothing there, but when I click um, to toggle that mirror back on, I can actually just bring my device looking at the screen into the patient's mouth and have a look around there. But it's great for kind of practicing clinical skills outside of the clinic. But to be honest, this is just uh, one of our experiences. So if I jump to home very quickly, 
I'll show you a, I'll show you a couple more as well. So uh, that's just around charting, but we've got some great ones on, say, instruments. Um, so first, there's a, a couple of lessons in this where you can see every instrument in 3D and, and rotate those around and get a kind of good look and a good bit of perspective of what the instruments are. And then there's instrument ID, which tests your knowledge on the subject. So these are all different questions that I can zoom and pan that around so I can rotate and, and pan that a bit so I can get a good look at the working end. And I've got to make a decision on what I think this instrument is, which I think is an excavator. And the idea behind this experience is you've got 30 seconds, so it's something you can do on the bus, on the train, and really kind of just practice your, your knowledge of the instruments wherever you are. And for every one I get right, so you'll see I'm on 12 seconds now, um, for every one I get right, I get five more seconds, and for every one I get wrong, wrong I lose some time. And the idea is to just kind of keep yourself above zero seconds while kind of practicing instruments. And sometimes it'll ask you, what is the instrument for? Sometimes it'll ask you, what procedure might you find this in? What is um, what is tech measure with probes? Exactly. So what measurement might be on the BPE probe? That kind of thing. And then once I run out of time, it then uploads my score to our leaderboard. So I don't think two hundred is going to get me very far in this one. You know? But um, well, for that levels. But you get that instant feedback as well of all the ones that you missed and why you missed it, what the correct answer was. Wrong. Um, and then I can see where I land on the leaderboard. So it doesn't look like anyone's we'll just dismiss that. Anyone's going to be um, catching up to Helen anytime soon. But I challenge you all to give it a go and see if you can get to the top of that leaderboard. Uh, so that's a, a bit around instruments. Um, still got a bit of time left, so I can make a jump into the basic periodontal exam one. But I'll, I'll just show you a little bit on a lesson first, so you can kind of see how we how we deliver the content first. So it's not just a, an application filled with experiences. Just press the little button there. Um, not just filled with experiences, but also it's got loads of fantastic theoretical content as well. It's, we try and deliver in a very kind of concise, instantaneous way. So you've got it there, giving you the confidence. It's all at the touch of your fingertips. You can really quickly and easily access this um, quality assured, standardized information. So in this example, it's the, the teaching of the instrument. So it gives you all the kind of all the instruments that you might see within instrument ID. It'll tell you all, all about them. The flat plastic, mouth and plugger. And then as I go, I can tap on this bottom left button and I can quickly navigate to say rotary instruments and jump to hand pieces where I can look at the, the hand pieces and the burrs. And once I get to the, so you can see at the bottom there's um, 10 out of 23. So in this particular lesson, there's 23 points. But as I cycle through, once I get to 23, so it's got buffers and rotary instruments. Once I get to the very end, 22, it then jumps to our multiple choice quiz where you can uh, do, test your knowledge on the subject. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a progression system throughout the application. So once you get a, a over 80 percent in this quiz then it'll then unlock the next lesson and as you kind of progress through the application you'll unlock new experiences new interactive games lots of different um, elements so I've, I've got a little bit a little bit of time left so queen mary has signed up for this application so it's available for everybody to use for free for you guys so if you there's single sign on so if you download the application from the app stores it's available on mobile and tablet you can just sign in with the single sign-on system. So we are going to create an account with your Queen Mary details and jump into all of this really great content. Um, so if I was to say go to, I'll show you a little bit around a few more. So the basic periodontal exams are really, really popular. It's a means of kind of, it's again, it's randomly generated. This one isn't in augmented reality. What it does, because we only actually use technology like AI and augmented reality, where it's going to add value to the actual experience. But this one actually just randomly generates the patient and then all the probing points. And the idea is that you watch all six of the probing points. And this one encourages accuracy over speed, unlike instrument ID, where it's answering the questions very quickly. And then you fill out the interactive chart based on what you see. So this is actually a very healthy patient, but there's a bit of recession there. It's all, but if I was to restart, let's see if I can get something. Yeah, so it looks like here, let me just cycle through a couple of sextants. So I've got, looks like some vocation involvement. There's all things to find here. So there's some bleeding here. Um, so it looks like I've got a bit of calculus there. 
And the idea is that you've got three lives and you've got to um, correctly charge as many patients as possible. So if I was to get one wrong, I'd lose a life. And let me just see if I can. One second, I'm zero, is it? <laughs> so I've lost another one. And then, and then once I complete that, I can click the tick and it'll give me a whole new patient with different recession, different treatments to find. And the idea is just get as, as much score as you can. And then as with all of our experiences, there is a, a global leaderboard then that you can see how you compare against everybody. And there's loads, loads to have a look at through there, but I'll, I'll jump to our dental anatomy stuff because there's some really great content in, in this module as well. We've got um, just starters out some tooth morphology. So um, let's look at, say, the key features. So all of our uh, um, 3D models have been built um, with millimeter accuracy, well, micrometer accuracy. Um, there is voice over here as well, so it'll read that through to you so you can listen to the content as well as read it. But when I jump to to augmented reality here. So if I was to change, change tooth so I can open up this panel and select what tooth I'm interested in looking at the key features of. And this was actually all written by Barry Berkovich, who wrote a very, who wrote a very famous um, book, um, dental anatomy textbook. So he's written all of our content for uh, dental anatomy. And I can have a look at the, rotate that around, zoom in and, and Actually, lots of people have been using this as reference guides for like wax carvings and things. But if I just go to augmented reality, and then it always works best if you place your augmented reality on the floor where there's lots of space, but you'll see our, our tooth appears. So I can have a look around that. And what's fantastic about learning in this way is say when I cycle through, it talks a little bit about the four cusps of the, um, the molar, and then it and then moves on to, um, well, if I was to read this paragraph in isolation, I don't know about you, but it might have just be my computer science brain, but the mesial palatal cusp occupies the largest area that's connected to the distant book of cusp by an oblique ridge, would be quite hard to get my head around. But actually, when you can see it in perspective, and you take my word for it, it's a lot, a lot less shaky when it's not dealing with internet speeds, but you can see that that makes sense. The mesial palatal cusp occupies the largest area of here, and I can see the oblique ridge that's highlighted, and therefore that's the uh, distant book of cusp. To really kind of help you reinforce that tooth morphology, which, which can be a really difficult subject to, to learn. Um, and there's another experience that goes hand in hand with that, um, with uh, the tooth morphology, which is dental ID, which will give you a random tooth and ask you to say whether it's from the upper or lower arch, to say whether it's um, yeah left or right hand side, and then to say whether it's which tooth it actually is. But one that's really great and really popular with, uh, with everyone is around the muscles of the head. Um, so this is called anatomy. Let me jump into here. So this really kind of gives perspective to the, the muscles. Uh, let me just kind of just loads up. And you can see, hopefully it's not just frozen there. Great. So you can see that this uses face tracking in augmented reality. So you can see the skull appear in your own space. And the idea behind this experience is you need to place the origin point and the insertion point of all of the muscles. So I admit to being very, very terrible at this one, but I'll place a few and see if I can get a couple right. So and you can see each muscle would appear and it gives me exactly where those origin and insertion points are. If there is an origin and insertion point, in some cases, it'll just ask you to place the, the point. So uh, thank you. And it gives you a score based on kind of how close you were. Okay, I can find that. So master to right, so much might be one that I can get. So, so you can see that appear and slowly you'll see all the muscles build up. And I think you'll find you might be sat in a dental anatomy exam, kind of feeling your face, and <laughs> and hopefully that um, helps you kind of remember where all the muscles are and what the insertion and origin points are. So this has been really popular and just a, a really nice way to kind of revise and test your knowledge of the subject. I keep looking, looking up at my screen here so you get a good view of the side as well. Um, that's the superior as well, so So not doing particularly well with two points, but there is, you can get streaks in this game. So if you get lots right in a row, then your score will get really big really quickly. So definitely want to try and get yourself to the top of the leaderboard as well. Um, also within uh, dental anatomy, there's 
fantastic um, experience around labeling the school of the, the cranium, I mean, the bones of the cranium. And this uses a unique labeling system. This one isn't in augmented reality, but what you do is you can drag the um, flag around and kind of decide where you think that will go. So, um, and for each one you get right, flash and show that. I'm sure it won't be hard for me to get one wrong for you in a second. And you can see where it's, uh, where it's, where it's uh, let's just go. And you can see it flash up with the right one. And actually, once you get to the end and you've labelled all of the, the bones, then it'll give you a chance to correct your mistakes as well. So you're not just be thinking, oh, I'm never going to remember that. You get a chance to just do the ones that you struggled with. I know this one's going to be very difficult, but if I can zoom in, I might be able to get a good. Close. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So I don't want to uh, just keep showing you around without taking any questions. So if anybody's got any questions, I'd be more than happy to, to show or look. Uh, there is one more that I'd love to show before we do that, though, which is our nerve paths. But if you've got any questions, you can think of in the meantime. So this one is around the nerves, which is obviously a very difficult subject and really hard to learn from just lists. So the idea is that you've got to find the path to the, in this example, there's lots of questions here, but the sublingual nerve on the left hand side. So let's look, I might be wrong straight out of the bat, but if I was to select which nerve path I'm interested in, the lingual nerve left hand side, sublingual nerve, I might be onto something. And then you can kind of watch that, watch that nerve and follow it down. So I can actually minimize that a little bit. So you can see where it goes along the path. And really kind of reinforce your knowledge of, of nerves. Um, adding to this as well, we've got um, an extended version which goes from the actual brain stem and follows the nerve path that way. And we've got loads of fantastic experiences coming soon as well. So we've got things on, um, just put another one in so you can see in the meantime. Got a fantastic experience on local anesthesia coming soon, which we've been working with um, Barry Alton and Ian Corbett uh, and um, Septodont as well to really kind of refine that concept to make sure that you know it, it's right, it serves the purpose, and it teaches the content as best as it can. Um, so that's a kind of staged experience where you've got to decide what anesthesia to use. You've got to kind of select the point um, in the mouth. You've got to select the angle of um, the angle of your needle and then you give it a score based on all the things that you you find so like i said before this is uh, available for you guys you could you could go now grab your phone download it have a look and just we're always open to feedback if you want it if you can follow us on social media or this feedback within the application as well you can fill out some feedback there and we'd be more than happy to you know take suggestions on what you'd love to see as an, an upcoming experience uh, we've got loads of stuff in here for you to kind of support your revision, support your studies, especially going into this these next few months, and really kind of help you help you kind of study the most difficult bits, which is is what we're here for. Absolutely, and if you, as Max was saying, like had any feedback, uh, suggestions, so that's the option there in the application. But then you can also go to the website. There is a specific place on the website where you can drop. Uh, all your comments or you can write us an email as well and i'll send you details but it's like support at and yeah we'll be like there to to like see like receive your feedback and support with whenever with whatever you need in general great well thank you very much everyone for listening and for your time we really appreciate it if there's any questions we've got a few minutes left if anybody would like to know anything about the application or who we are as a company. I'll take that as that was a fantastic demo, Max. That's exactly <laughs> how you take it, Max. Oh, it's well <laughs> Thanks. Hi, um, just to say a huge thank you. I, I think um, it, it does look like a, a fantastic um, app um, and I think it'll take us a little while to get used to all the wide ranging features that you provide. Um, but is there, a, is there a means to sort of engage with you to say, you know, we've, we've identified 
this is what we would like in addition or is, is there a way to ask for things? Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll post a few things in the chat of this meeting. So I'll post in an email address uh, which you can send anytime. We'll, we'll get back to you as, as soon as possible, you know, the same day. And there's there's a feedback section within the app as well. So, but by all means, yeah, it, we'd love to hear your feedback and we'd love to get um, any suggestions because we're constantly making new things. So um, if you've got any ideas or any thoughts or suggestions, we've got a really good one on endodontics mm -hmm. coming up as well about the access cavities. So that's going to be... Um, available pretty soon as well. And, and I would, I'm sorry, go on. No, no, no. Uh, assuming you've got consensus among the endodontists um, about what it should look like. <laughs> um, in the perfect scenario. <laughs> We're going with the perfect scenario first, because if, I think if you ask 10, you'll have 10 different answers. But, the, um, but for a kind of general learning of the orifices, you know, what you should expect to see, um, that's what it'd be there for. Yeah. Just a huge thank you. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, and just a quick point, um, just wanted to let you know that we are working uh, closely with the Dental Society because obviously what we want is to be able like to enable students at Queen Mary to, to use the, the solution that we're providing. Uh, but also if there was a moment where you wanted us, for example, if you had like a lesson or something, you wanted us to join you and show the students what we can do and like even do a short demo to them directly we're more than happy to arrange that and make that possible yeah and we're always at the bds conferences oh, yeah, and the bdsa yeah. so you'll get a chance to play some of our competitions Absolutely. that we have there and it certainly won't be the last you see of us oh, yeah, definitely yeah. download the application and check it out because it's all free for you guys anyway Excellent. Thank you so much, Max. I can't thank you enough for your time today. It's been really great to look at the new features and, and look at the app. Um, from a QM point of view, I have slides that you can insert into your slide decks when any of these topics come up to direct the students to the app. I'm quite keen to integrate it into the curriculum as much as possible. So I don't want them just to download it all in one, one go and, and do it all in one go. When, when the teaching comes up, in the curriculum um i think that that is the ideal place to 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 direct the students to the learning um so if you have uh any questions about that you can contact me as well okay um, <laughs> thank you very much for your time everybody today i really appreciate it and uh i'll see you again soon thanks max thank you, thank you. cheers for having us bye thank you thank you thank you, thank you everybody